the ones who spread gossip they're the ones who spend time talking about you they're the ones who um not happy with your progress or your success So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another cheat, another chatty get ready with me video and yeah. So I do have an event that I have to go to today. Um yeah, so I have to do I just started to do my makeup while I record and you know just get ready to go to this event. Yeah, so I'm gonna be a bit quick. So I'm going to be using my Clarins double cream or uh, my Clarins day cream on my face just to moisturize my skin. Okay. So I love this cream you guys. I think I've fallen in love with Clarins product. They're just so good. So I've done my brows off camera because like I said I have an event to go to so I just wanted to speed up the process okay. So I will be using my Make of Magnesia um, as my primer. I haven't used this for months. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit because I want my makeup to stay as matte and flawless. So if you watched my previous video where I was talking about um, my get ready with me chatty video, you must have seen um, what I was talking about, especially the, the hate that us women bring to each other. Okay, um, you know it doesn't make sense for us to hate each other like that. Like you know we have to empower each other as women. Like we have to stand together and you know um, let's say good things about each other and let's love each other. Because we don't love each other I see a lot of times that um, the hate like from my comments from my own point of view the hate comes from women okay it's the women they are the ones who spread gossip they're the ones who spend time talking about you they're the ones who um, not happy with your progress or your success you know we are the ones who tear each other down like seriously it's not good it's not worth it why can't we as women for a change stand together and support each other if you've seen my channel the people that i've collaborated with um they are all channels which are smaller channels than my own channel i'm not saying this because i want to be like you know i know better or i'm better than anybody no but what i'm trying to say is as women we should empower each other and help each other up like for me to do collabs with these smaller channels it's like i'm actually sharing their page with um with all of you guys like if someone approaches me and i know that this person um supports me has been supporting me all this time i really don't mind you know supporting their channel like let's collab together if they ask for a collab i'm more than happy to you know to collab together that's what women should do like we should learn to empower each other and raise each other up if someone needs your help we should be able to lend a hand okay so i know some people wouldn't do what i do um you know there are some who do what i do they don't mind if i have the time and my the schedule is good i'm more than happy to you know collab with a smaller channel we have to support each other so that reminds me um of what my mom always used to say to me you know when I was growing up she used to say to me hold on let me do let me do this you know God helps those who help themselves okay that's all that's what my mom used to say that God helps those who help themselves okay so you know if you are trying to get something in life or you really want something in life you need to work for it like you know what I'm saying? Like I remember the days when I wanted to like last year. I'm sure if you've been following me, you guys, you know that last year is the year that I actually that my channel actually grew like tremendously. Um and 
it's all because of this verse that says faith without works is dead okay i said to myself okay if i need my channel to grow yes i can pray about it okay it's good to pray about it but if your faith is not there and you know nothing really happens like especially for me if if my faith is not there nothing happened so um yeah i remember saying this to myself that okay i won't, i'm saying that i want my channel to reach 100k and i was like i have to do something about it as well okay like the bible says faith without works is dead so i had to step up my game i'm sure if you've seen my channel you guys you know exactly what i'm talking about i started producing videos like twice a week i became more consistent you know with my work and i, uh, I tried so hard so i started producing content so yeah my channel did grow because i had faith i believed god can do it i had faith that it will grow and it did grow and i did reach 100k trying to encourage you if you're in the same situation you feel like you're stuck you feel like you want something to manifest in your life and it's not happening yes it might not happen as quick as you think because like i thought like with my channel i was like oh my god everyone who's coming like all oh, these people are new on youtube and then their channels are already reaching a milestone and i'm still here i'm still struggling sometimes i feel so discouraged you know but i said you know i have to put in some work you know some people are so lucky that they can just upload like one video and then it goes viral and then the channel just you know grow from that for me personally it's a, it's got to be prayer faith and manifestation and let god do his work okay so i'm just saying if you are in the same situation and you feel like um you know you're not where you're, you're meant to be or you feel like you're going backwards if you feel like oh my god you're not progressing in life you feel like oh my god everyone is getting married white wedding everyone is buying houses like my situation you know um people are like oh my god every youtuber is buying a house yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and i'm like you know the time shall come okay i'm not discouraged I'm not discouraged. I believe in God. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is there's no way you're going to just buy a house because everyone else is buying a house on YouTube and you haven't worked for it. Like, where are you going to get the money from? Okay, you need to work for it. You need to put in some work for you to be able to, you know, to have it or to even put a deposit on it. Okay, so, you know, the time will come. I remember one of my auntie was telling me about a story about um, this pastor or hair pastor or some of that. Um, he was preaching one day and then he asked his congregation like um, how many of you likes would like a car right now okay and um, like almost 90% raised their hands like me I would like a car sir and then the pastor went ahead and said okay um so i'm not talking about the ones who owned cars the ones who were actually you know thinking that they needed a car for whatever okay so um then the pastor said okay among you all who have raised their hands that they want a car they're manifesting what they bring for a car how many of you has or have a license or what steps have you taken to have this car the car that you're praying for you're praying to God for a car okay so what have you done yourself okay it's like all these people <laughs> none of them had even taken a provisional license the pastor was surprised that all these people were like oh god I need a car you know I need this I need that I need the car I need this but then these same people did not have a license if you had to get the car what are you going to do with it like i know when i did my driving i was pregnant with my last one when you feel like okay i'm having my third child and i don't drive like you get fed up of um asking your husband to take you to places like every time i want to go to my cousin's house or when i go to the shops 
I will be like, oh, my husband, can you take me there? You know, inconveniencing him and all that. Not that he minds, but sometimes you feel like it is so inconvenient for you to keep asking. So I decided like, you know what, I'm gonna start driving. I'm gonna do my provision. I'm gonna do my practical, my theory. And you know what, I did all that in six months. Despite that I was pregnant, I had to take a break for like two weeks to give birth. After two weeks, my child was two weeks old. I went back to my driving lessons went back past my driving lessons first time okay so if you really want something you ha really have to work for it and you really have to put in some work oh my god what time is it oh it's 4 20 okay i need to be quick i need to leave this house like in about 40 minutes so i'm talking too much i think So in this video, I am just going to style this unit, you guys. I received the hair from Nadula Hair Company, so I made a unit. So yeah, I'm just going to lay this wig down because I haven't got time, much time left for me, guys. I have to be leaving and I need to look at least somehow presentable. Yeah, I'm using a wet sponge just to remove some foundation. I'm just going to be using my cut to be glued. Just gonna apply a second layer. I want this unit to stay put, okay? I don't want it to go anywhere, especially today.
think this looks so amazing if i had the time i was going to put like some personalized and put some powder over here to make the pattern look more visible but i haven't got the time guys i have to go so this is it guys the get ready with me chit chat is done and i absolutely love this year you guys like look at that it is it doesn't tangle this hair it doesn't give me any problems i absolutely love it and it's so beautiful you can actually revive the curls like so easily like effortless absolutely love the weight kind of look so i'm gonna leave all the hair details in the description box down below so if you guys want to go and check out nadula hair company it's women let's keep empowering each other and supporting each other building each other up like let's not bring each other down one love okay guys so i hope you guys did enjoy this chicha get ready with me video like i said i'm late for an event and probably i'll be able to vlog for you guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget thumbs up this video also comment rate, and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now